Welcome to 99th Monkey Liberty News for Wednesday, April 2nd, 2014. I am beginning today with a portion of the interview that Alex Jones did yesterday with Dick Gregory, and it was a tremendous interview. And what I want to highlight is uh, the fact that, that Dick Gregory stated that Black people know the secrets. And uh, this video is entitled Dick Gregory, Real Black History Secrets. Uh, he made so much sense that the black people were in the homes as servants uh, at the time of slavery and even for a period after the Civil War. And that because they weren't fully regarded as they 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 weren't considered to have you know individual significance uh they they heard and knew everything that was going on in the households they knew all of the secrets and dick gregory said that uh they have handed down though that those secrets from generation to generation and that there is a tremendous wealth of knowledge of uh, dark secrets with the black people and uh, my mind just kind of went to you know that's probably one reason why uh, the social engineers the evil people want to uh, get rid of that why they one reason why they practice eugenics against African Americans is that they they probably want to destroy the secrets uh, and of course at the time people would not probably have believed that would, they would have easily been dismissed had these they, these people gone forward with their stories or it would have been easy to kill them uh, and now things are different we hear them we listen to them and I'm hoping that a lot of these stories will come out and uh, with that, you could get some movies and books out of some of those stories, I'm sure. And one of the specific ones that uh, Gregory mentioned, and, and he mentioned some others, is that I believe he said his grandmother or his great-grandmother worked in the home of one of the James brothers. And uh, there has been this, this ongoing assertion that uh, Jesse James changed his name to John D. Rockefeller. And here's some information about it. Now, this, this is a, a really strange website. Uh, it's Melchizedek Communique. Uh, and I'm not advocating this website they, they actually stopped posting in uh, 2011 there are some really interesting articles here uh, but this one is also substantiated with uh, something from the fbi.gov website about Jesse James so uh, the PDF files can be found here so this is real then this is just one of the uh, one of the stories, one of the secrets that African Americans have known, and of course it, this goes beyond African Americans because the FBI has a file. Uh, and it's not, I don't know who the originator of the story was. It says that there were two young boys uh, or teenage boys who, who were stirring up the story. And again, I, I don't, I'm not sure where that originated. However, uh, as people tell the secrets they know, many can be investigated and substantiated. We need to know these things. Americans need to, we need to be aware of our, our real history. And I think if, if today's video has a theme it is that the people in control try desperately to maintain control but uh, we need to insist that that they that they don't just a few people can't control the rest of us. From Reuters, after Chile quake, thousands return home. Damage believed limited. There was an 
6.2 earthquake off the coast of Chile, in case you were not aware of that. It generated a 6 foot 9 inch tsunami that hit Chile, and uh, parts of Chile were evacuated. There was a women's prison from which I think two or three hundred women inmates uh, escaped. And uh, other than that, I, I'm not sure that, you know, that according to this article, damage believed limited. And this was the most recent article I could find from this morning. And uh, I, I did want to highlight, I, I, I did mention Fulford's blog yesterday, uh, his blog for this week, but I did not mention what he wrote about earthquakes interestingly enough and I did I did reference the Dutch since video yesterday in the LA earthquake and it does seem that things are stirred up geologically and it stands to reason that this could well be true from Fulford meanwhile nuclear and earthquake terror threats are being made by the US military industrial complex Russia Israel the Gnostic Illuminati, the North Koreans, and others as a backdrop to negotiations aimed at forming a world federation of free states and sovereign humans. So there are people making threats that, that they're going to generate earthquakes. And seeing as how we've had two rather significant earthquakes just in the last few days, perhaps uh, we need to consider that threat take it kind of seriously, maybe have some supplies around if you live in an earthquake prone area and uh, just be ready not not to be a prophet of doom but it never hurts to be prepared. From the Wall Street Journal, China cracks down on Bitcoin. PBOC orders big banks to close trading accounts in virtual currency. Here again is this this issue of control. Uh, the banks have the money and they want to keep the money. They want to maintain their control. And cryptocurrencies do uh, take away control from banks. And Max, Co uh, Max Kaiser's Start Join and other crowd sourcing crowdfunding organizations take power away from Wall Street. So uh, this hu huge push to maintain control is it, it's inevitably going to fail. It's just a question of when and the more determined and vociferous we are uh, the quicker it will fail. From Washington's blog just along that the same thought of uh, trying to maintain control First ever political study of top 1% has found extreme conservatism, intense political involvement. Uh, now, top 1%, this, this is not the cabal. This is just uh, actually millionaires. Uh, let's face it, the, the number of people in the cabal is much lower than 1%. Some people put it at maybe like 0. 0.0002 or something along those lines. Uh, so th this one percent, it's you know not the extremely wealthy. This is it begins with people wealthier than five million dollars. So that can be you know just a businessman who has worked very hard to build his small business. Um, but still, you know, even at that level, uh, people want to maintain the control that they have. 40% uh, of the respondents had made contact with the person's U.S. Senator. Uh, well, most hopefully everybody <laughs> watching this video has also made contact with, at least through email, phone calls uh, with our person with our US senators and and all of our other uh, government representatives uh, twelve percent had made contact with a White House official 
Uh, that is a little higher up the chain than most of us go. And of these contacts, 44% were asserted to have been for private business reasons. So this isn't, you know, they're, they're not going uh, to talk about the common goods. Can we not enforce the Bill of Rights? Uh, you know, can, can we not preserve the Second Amendment? No, no. It's to, for private business reasons. And uh, that's why I use this article even as an example of the desire to maintain control. They want to, the people with money want to keep the money. The people with control want to keep the control. And, you know, many of the things that they desire politically happen to be things that I and probably most of you watching agree with. Um, but then, you know, there, there are these 87% were opposed to responsibility of the government to reduce the differences in income between people with high incomes and those with low incomes. Well, okay, we're libertarians, right? We don't, we don't want to lay that responsibility at the feet of the government. However, uh, you know, when, when there are uh, illegitimate and irresponsible, immoral, unethical practices that are not addressed that, uh, that diminish the potential for a middle class and, and, you know, lower the different, reduce the differences in income between people with high incomes and low incomes, then I think most of us would like to see uh, some responsibility, antitrust laws, banking regulations, that sort of thing, the kind of thing that prevents just absolute runaway uh, exploitation of the rest of us. So, again, People with control want to hold on to control. People with money want to hold on to money. Generally speaking, that's just the way it is. From Cheryl Atkinson, ATF meets Congress's deadline for Fast and Furious Info. Some materials highly redacted. And I, I just, uh, you know, we'd love to see justice come concerning Fast and Furious, and, and uh, I have often presented the story of Ian Garland, who was an actual, you know, victim of Fast and Furious. He had a license to sell firearms, and he was uh, set up and uh, in New Mexico, sent to jail, and I, you know, I noticed there are more articles this morning about New Mexico and the horrible things done there by law enforcement. Um, and certainly New Mexico has been a center of some of the activities for Fast and Furious. But so we can hope that we're going to see justice here. However, some materials highly redacted. I decided to include the definition of redact to put in writing or frame, to select or adapt as by obscuring or removing sensitive information for publication or release, to obscure or remove text from a document prior to publication or release. So the fact that the ATF has redacted these documents means that they're holding back a lot of the story. So they've, they're, they've given over their documents, but uh, they've altered them. And I'm sure we can all guess why to make themselves appear less guilty. From Zero Hedge, Saudi Arabia passes new law that declares atheists terrorists. Again, control. Uh, you know, I might prefer that people not be atheists. But to uh, tell to characterize atheism as terrorists as terrorism is uh, th there's it's broken logic. It it doesn't make sense, and it's obviously an attempt to uh, again control and dictate to people what religious practices need to be a part of their lives.
I noticed this, and uh, this is from some time ago, but I, I never mentioned it. Members of Congress who are leaving office, and I believe there are 48 here, 48 or 46. Uh, those of us who are optimistic <laughs> can hope that there, you know, somebody presented them, uh, get out of office, or we are going to whatever, uh, release these secrets about you, prosecute you for these crimes. I mean, again, it, it requires a little bit of optimism and hope to see it that way. But certainly, th this is significant. This is a significant number of people who are, are leaving office. And may they be replaced with people who will be honorable and uh, people who will serve the U.S. Constitutional Republic well and honor their oath that they take when they enter office to uphold the Constitution, including the Bill of Rights. This is from a few days ago from IntelliHub, uh, another bank-related death. J.P. Morgan lawyer killed by a van while riding bike, 13th finance industry death. And I don't mean to make light of this, but I just this the scene kind of reminded me of uh, the scene in the Devil's Advocate, where the uh, inconvenient lawyer was killed while he was out jogging. Hopefully, a greater measure of justice is coming, and in, in, in through these, you know, I'm hoping these guys weren't whistleblowers who are killed before they can tell their story. Uh, it's kind of been they presented both ways, you know, that they were bad guys uh, who were given ultimatums or that they were good guys who were threatening to release information on others. But hopefully justice will be served uh, within the arena of the banks. From David Icke uh, is this video, James Rickards dollar going to collapse 80 percent or 90 percent or more uh, you know if the u.s continues to resist BRICS, if the u.s continues to uh, make itself the enemy of the rest of the world i think it's certainly a possibility that they will uh, pull the plug on the u.s by uh, causing the value of the dollar to collapse. And, uh, of course, we would bear the brunt of that as the American people. We would suffer. Uh, but it, it could be also not that uh, bad of a thing because it, it can also press us to produce things within our own nation again so that we don't have to purchase foreign goods and... If we don't have to purchase foreign goods, uh, the world valuation of the dollar is far less significant. So here's, a, here's another little article, I guess, meme to uh, affirm the need to be self-sufficient and to grow some of your own food and get off the grid to the extent that is possible for you. And for our good news of the day, from RT, Tennessee Republicans nix mass transit with help from the Koch brothers. Um, Koch brothers not carrying nurtures, but evidently uh, they do not <laughs> wish to see Agenda 21 implemented because, as we all know, mass transit is a portion of the Agenda 21 plans. And Tennessee, through resisting mass transit, is resisting Agenda 21. So that is certainly good news. Thank you for tuning in for today's 99th Monkey Liberty News. Weeping Mandor for a night, but joy comes in the morning. Hoping that you will love one another, take care, and enforce the Bill of Rights by insisting on your liberties.